Hello everybody, my name is Fusser Brains, and this is just an update video on how to get Recoil to work on Windows 10, or at least everything that I have done to get it to work on Windows 10. Somebody last time pointed out that it wasn't working for them, and so I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show you guys everything that I probably or could have possibly have done to get this to work on my computer. And so, I wasn't sure about this, but uh, you know, I have a virtual, I have the uh, Oracle Virtual Box, you know, so this is what I have again. Everything, including the end glide, absolutely everything that you may need will definitely be uh, linked in the description below for you guys. So, what I think it is though, is I think uh, you need like a Windows XP or Windows 7 installed because that way you can see that there's like, it will know that the old architecture is there and then uh, that will allow it somehow to work. Here's everything that I have done to get this old game to work. So um, uh, I have uh, Windows 7 and Windows XP installed on the virtual machine and yes I have both of the actual CDs. Um, so I have an actual legitimate Windows XP CD and a Windows 7 CD as well. So I have both of those operating systems completely 100% uh, legitimate and uh, you can either get like a disk image or whatever. Um, I don't know how to do that, but I'll leave some links in the description below that will hopefully show you guys how to do all that stuff and and uh, provide a smoother experience on how to install op operating systems onto a virtual machine. So if not, you can always watch mine. Um, but again, I'll leave uh, links to other videos that will show you you know more in depth and, and probably a lot better on how to install old operating systems. So since I already have Windows XP and I'm doing a let's play in, on a game that's in here, I'll create a new one and I'll just make it a test. So win XP test. And I go for the 64 bit. That um, It's your preference. You can do whatever you want. Um, most people leave this stuff alone. Um, depending on what operating system that you uh, that you're installing will depend on if you want to adjust this or not and also depending on what you're trying to run or how much you know how many um, you know programs that you're going to be trying to run on like the Windows XP you know the virtual machine so that's going to uh, you know depending on what you want to run um, you know you want to reflect that with here you know so if it's if you're going to be running a lot and or if it's a newer operating system like Windows 7 you want to at least for I would recommend increasing this a little bit but since it's just Windows XP um, you know I don't think you really need to do anything and you can create a virtual hard disk um, and just you know, I go dam uh, di dynamically allocated, sorry. But yeah, you can just go through all this, you don't really need to change anything, and then once it's up, you wanna, once you click on this, um, it's going to boot up like it normally would, like uh, if you're turning on your computer for the first time, going to install everything. So, once that happens, you just let it run through its course, and then you install like Windows XP or Windows 7 how you normally would, and then that's it. That's all you really need to do, and so, Oops. <laughs> See, so it's reading my CD. It's reading the disk in there. So, um, since I've already done this, um, I'm not going to actually go through the entire Windows XP installation. So, um, but yeah, that's basically all you need to do. You just need to install Windows XP, um, and then it should run just like this. So here's the one I have that I already did. So. Um, but yeah, it, all this doesn't really matter. You just need to install them, and then once they're up and running, like once you can get to the Windows XP desktop or the Windows 7 desktop within the virtual machine, then you should be fine. And then all you should need to do is just uh, try to install Recoil like I showed you, and it should work. Hopefully it does. I'm not 100% sure if it will. This is just what worked for me. So um, I don't know why it's taking so long. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's... It was hiding in the background. <laughs> so there you go. There's Windows XP for you. Um, again, you don't need to boot this up. I'm just doing this, uh, you know, basically show you that once you're done, you just it'll boot up into the regular main thing, you know, the whole desktop and all that. So once you insert the, the CD, the recoil disk, you want to right click it and then hit click on open. And that will basically open up all the files that are, are on the disk. And then what you want to do is you want to go down to Setup, the one that's an application in 59 kilobytes. It's right here. You want to, you definitely either want to double click on it or right click and open. I'll just do the right click open just to make sure and be safe. So, and then it should open up the installation process. And so what you want to do now is, um, is you want to run through the installation process like you would normally like let it go and install into like your C drive games you know let it 
don't do any like custom installation or anything like that. That may mess it up. So just let it install where it would by default. And uh, yeah, so just run through the regular installation. Don't do anything fancy or any customization or anything like that. Just let it run its course, you know. And since I already did this, I'm not going to actually run through the, the setup. But yeah, once it's done installing, you, what you want to do is you actually want to go exactly where it installed it to. So. And then you'll see this. This application right here, this recoil application, when, when you see this, this one will not work. What you want to do is you want to get rid of this one. You can either delete it or whatever. And you want to go up here to the 3DFX folder and there will be another one. What I did personally was I copied it. So I right clicked on it and I copied it and I came back here and I replaced this one, this recoil application, uh, recoil application with the with the recoil application in the 3DFX folder. So that's all I did. And then what that will do is it will give you another option called Accelerator Voodoo 3DFX and that's the one that you want. You can select whatever resolution that you want or can or want to have. And uh, also just so you know with the Englide 1.05 configurator um, I was messing around with it a little bit and I was an idiot because I never really even mucked with any of this but you can actually change the resolution and you know have everything fit to your screen so it, it will up res it for you and, and do all this really cool stuff so you know it will fill out your entire screen so yeah there, um, that's you know this is just stuff if you want to mess around with it and see how to fix your game or, or you know get it to run the way that you want it to run so you can uh, go ahead and mess around on that if you want um, but you know if not you can always just go click on start or whatever and get right into the action and yes it does work And just to prove it, I do promise you that the, the audio does work. So there you go. And it works. See? So that's all you need to do, guys. So anyways, thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, I hope this works for you. Um, let me know down in the comment section below if it does. So that's everything that I did to, to get Recoil to work. Um, it also worked with the Neverhood. That's how I saw the Neverhood worked. As long as you, um, as long as you have like Windows XP and or Windows 7 installed on your virtual machine, um, it should work. Again, this isn't a guarantee. This is just this is just what works for me, and I hope it works for you guys. This is absolutely everything that I've done to get these uh, older games to work. Again, not all old games work. For example, um, Mech Warrior I can't get to run on either one. Um, Heavy Gear is iffy, um, so I'm, I still have to tweak around with that one. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much everything that I've done. Again, it doesn't work for all old games. It may work for a lot of them or some of them. Uh, but yeah, it's not a guarantee. So just let me know if it works for you. But again, this is what worked for me. Again, all with like Recoil and uh, and uh, The Neverhood and uh, Saints of Virtue, uh, like an old Lost in Space game from 1992. A bunch of old, uh, you know, a few go a few games actually work this uh, work like that. I don't know why, but you know. Again, that's just how it is. So, yeah. Again, let me guys, uh, let me know in the comment section below if this works for you. Again, this is absolutely everything that I've done to uh, get these older games to run on my uh, on my computer. So, and hopefully it works for you guys. So, again, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I'll see you all again next time. Adios, amigos.